Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you another way on how to debug your composable UIs without the need of adding any extra code, just applying a simple plugin. Let's get started. So in order to create good composables, you need to pay attention how your composable are reacting. So you need to verify accurately what is happening with your composable UI. Here I have simple UI with simple buttons and upon the click on button, it increased a value. You can notice its behavior here. So here you can see the application upon clicking on this one, it increases, this one, it increases and so on. This is a simple UI, right? In previous videos, we show how to debug this recomposition right if you have specific issues you can debug it we showed a way you can add another composable that will track it we did that with debugger i think we also shown that you can inspect this with layout inspector the layout inspector you have to attach it of course that's also a valid approach right we saw that you can detect the recomposition via the debugger and so on Actually, there is a much better way. I found this library, which is a cool one. You simply add one line in your Gradle file and nothing else, right? Automatically, it will detect composables and it will print in the logcat why this has recomposed or changed and stuff like that. It is called Compose Investigator. So here is the library, it's called Compose Investigator. It's pretty, pretty simple. Simply, we need to add only this line and nothing else. Right, so let's do it here in my project. I'm going to add the version since I'm using TOML files here. Let me close this one. I'm going to add this value here, the investigator version, right? And I need to add it as a plugin. It's not a library. And it will go like that, okay? This plugin, this is the version, right? And then you can declare it in your module. You have our simple module here. We're going to add it here. Of course, this one will require a sync. I'm going to add here, but also we need to add it also here right without applying it so this is the last step okay sync everything and that's all you need of course there is another configuration i will show you how to do that configuration but i just want to show you how easy it is right you simply add it to your module and boom and that's pretty much it that's all you need now you can run your application so once the app launches you can go to your lock cat here and search for compose investigator like the follow okay so you can notice only compose investigator you can see that there is many things will happen. All right, I think you can do level of, I think it is on the debug, right? The, I don't know why I'm still getting those. Okay, that's weird. Anyway, so you can see that here, let me check, let me add the compact one here, compact mode, so you can notice it much better. All right, so you can see that we have this one here, right? The beauty is that anything, like anything, I can click on this one, and I will see a new thing. Yeah, let me check it. Let me do it one more time. If I click, you can see that the new button composable has been invalidated, okay? This is the previous one. This is the new one, okay? I will tell you one thing. This is a cool thing, actually. Let me do this one so you can see it much better. Let me clear everything. All right, so you can see here that I have okay two, right? If I click it to recompose, so it will be okay three. It will give me the reason why there is this one in the first place. So you can see the state of OK inside anonymous composable has changed from two to three. OK, and it will tell you like it has been processed. Actually, it has many more features than that. You can notice them here. OK, it will show you that if a composable is kept during your composition, that's a good thing. It will report if the arguments of the composable has changed and being recomposed, which is this is crucial because sometimes you need to know why it is recomposing. It will report if the state values inside composable has been modified, and also it will retrieve the call stack, which can lead directly to the invocation of composable. Okay, this is pretty uh, amazing. There is an introductory medium post by the creator. Like this is pretty good contribution to the composer. Like, thank you very much for that. Uh, you can follow this article. It will explain much better. But what I, what I want to show you also is this documentation. Documentation encompasses many things. Before that, in the versions, yeah, in the versions, you need to notice the following. The versions is, as you can see, v1.5.11. It is the Compose compiler. Make sure this will align with the uh, Compose compiler. And the same thing with the Compose, uh, like this is the version of uh, Compose. Because at the beginning, it didn't work for me, right? I had to make the updates to the version to make it 11 also. And by making it 11, you need also to make the version of Kotlin 23, 
okay so you need that update because as he said it is heavily dependent on the version of compose compiler okay here at the documentation there is a cool page called under the hood and this is pretty amazing it will show you what is happening under the hood so such library is being able to generate that code this is pretty amazing uh, read of course now there is here in the advanced section this cool thing about formatting so you can format the following let me go back here at the application you can add the following lines there is this compose investigator config that can give you access to the invalidation logger and the state change listener now what is this in the composable invalidation logger this is responsible for the invalidation part it will Present all the call stack up to the current composable okay so you can customize it here and how this is shown beauty you can change this print line or it is at the beginning i think it is the log cat normal logs right you can use timber for that you can configure it the way you like this is for the state change listener this will be responsible for what is the value that has been changed okay like the one that caused the recomposition mainly okay here you will get the value of the composable and the name of the variable that's been tried and what is the previous value and what is the new value you can set it here normally and that way you can customize the lockout once for all for all the project this is uh, why it is cool now if you go back to the main activity one minute here we can get access to what is the current tracker and what do we have as data for example we can go here for example let's first extract this as separate composable right let's just call it row of buttons right and this is actually a normal function yeah i can move those here So here is the composable, like this is the row of button. You can do it for new button or anything else. What the beauty is that you can get the current invalidation tracker, right? You can do it by current composable invalidation tracker. Exactly like that. You need to add obtain for this one. Then with the value, you can get what is the current composable key name. This will be the name of everything. Like you can modify it. That's the beauty. Like you can do current composable key name, and then you can give it a different name. For example, row of buttons. All right so this one this name will be used inside uh, the lock right i think this is the one yeah sorry this is the one right but it has to be composable name i think yeah this is the one and that way with the row of buttons you can see that row of buttons in the locket right there are many customization i invite you to check the documentation documentation provide many good and advanced aspects so here you'll notice that exactly the problem is that we change this one to print right so everything will be with system out print right and there is anonymous has been invalidated let me check let me add this, uh, certain stuff you can notice that the row of buttons has been invalidated you see that's the thing i'm telling about all right so that's pretty much it for this video i really invite you to see this documentation check this article and start experimenting this library it has small number of stars it means it has not been used that much but it's really a pretty one try to use it and give us your opinions about it yeah so that's pretty much it for this video thanks a lot for watching this video at the end don't forget to subscribe to the channel i have another video on how to debug your compose uis so check that also for extra information maybe you'll find some other interesting ideas there Thank you very much and see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.